Hey lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, and crazy kids. So happy to be back today. I was initially planning to record a different type of video, but I came down with a cold and have had no voice for the last week. We'll have to wait on that, but in the meantime, I want to give you all an update on how things are going since my last post. Something that really keeps me on track and keeps me aiming for new goals when the new year comes around is making sure each month is dedicated to a different topic. So this January, I focused on organizing. February was health. March was minimizing. To recap March though, it has honestly been the most inspiring, life-changing month I've had in a very, very long time. I let you all know I was gonna be making changes to my diet and to my apartment because I'm feeling crowded and cluttered and unhealthy and all of these things. And the moment I posted that video, I went into action. Just a quick glimpse of some of the things I've done. I've probably thrown out 80% of all the makeup products that I own. I have taken out probably over 20 trash bags with papers and clutter and junk from around here. I've got boxes and bags at my front door waiting to be picked up by the Goodwill. I've started using a app called Poshmark that allows me to sell items that have never been used or have barely been used. In addition, I've given away furniture. I've given away tons of decor stuff. Anything that was laying around and not being used, I've made it my goal to get rid of. And you would not believe how much of a refreshing, rewarding, just inspiring and motivated feeling I've been getting from this entire process. It started off extremely difficult for me. I'm one of those people who never want to be wasteful. I, d I have a hard time getting rid of stuff, but I mean, by day 30, I was like, man, at this point, I'm considering whether I need a toothbrush. <laughs> I've also started researching different alternatives for things. So, for example, all my cycle items, I've converted over to using a menstrual cup and reusable cloth pads instead of the regular tampons and pads that you would normally use. This process has also sparked me to get back into the habit of researching natural alternatives and healthier alternatives and it's been so wonderful. I think a lot of things have contributed to March being such a great month for me. My shift changed at work, so now I'm working earlier in the day and getting off earlier. My new doggy keeps me extremely active, more so than I normally was. Very, very upbeat, comforted at all times, so I'm happier than I was before. There's just such a sense of newness that I'm feeling after this month. My hair is kind of messed up today, but I feel like my hair has grown. I'm drinking more water. My face is clearing up and glowing more. I have tons more energy. I've lost a few pounds without even trying. I'm barely going to the gym. I've just more, been more active in general every day and more healthy every day. And I have so many things in mind that I want to do. I want to get rid of more of my shoes and some of the things on my shelves so that I can start getting more plants in here, some where I can start growing herbs and things, others that are just good to have in your home because I purify the air and whatnot. I'm looking up tons of DIY projects and I've started putting up canvas photos that I've been doing on my own, taking my own photos and getting those up and that's extremely exciting. Even simple changes like changing my bed sheets to pure white instead of just colors or neutrals or dark colors has just been really refreshing and exciting. I'm just feeling really good and I think that I'm processing a little bit better and my perspective has changed a lot and it feels great. <laughs> so many people are intimidated by making change because they feel that it doesn't happen, but all it really takes is consistency and positivity for you to really start seeing changes in your life. I'm not saying every change is going to happen in 30 days, but I'm sure after a month or two of continuous effort, positive energy, something's gonna happen. I always tell people any movement in the right direction is valuable, whether it's a small step or a leap in the right direction. 
forward movement is important. Anyways, I look forward to seeing you lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, and crazy kids soon. See you next time. Kenny loves you. Mwah.